Okay everybody, so we have arrived in Tremblin. It is essentially a ski and snowboard village. Just checked into our double room here. I'll show you a bit of an overview now. So we have a living room here and then a balcony with a beautiful view of the village and the mountains and then also a cute little double bedroom. Quick change, quick refresher and then we are finally going snowshoeing. I think I talked to you about this on Instagram so many times already so I'm very excited to try it. I just imagine it really exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> but we will see. Let me go get changed into my pink outfit. Oh, I lost my shoe! <laughs> I didn't go quite as planned. <laughs> so as you have just seen, it may feel and look quite easy, but <laughs> which it is, really, which it is. Um, it helps you sort of go up the hill and it helps you go in deep snow but you have to tie them really, really tight. Not like me, I was like, oh, it's too tight. And then you lose it, okay? And then the whole purpose of having a snowshoe is gone. <laughs> so yeah, make sure you have it super tight. And we spent the evening at Armano Trattoria, which is an Italian restaurant in Tramblant Village. And it was a wholesome evening with delicious food, friends, and fun. And we really needed this because the next day we are going to go up the mountain and it's gonna get cold. Here we are, just casually on the ski lift where you stand. It's the first time I'm seeing one like this. So, you know, normally you sit. But uh, yeah, beautiful views of Tremblin. We're going up the mountain to, I guess, show you some more views, really. Woo! Right, here we are in the gondola. Hello, everyone. Hey. <laughs> so he's there too. Hi. Hi. And uh, yeah, we're going up the mountain now. So what I told you earlier, that was just a little lift within Tramblund village, basically. It wasn't actually the ski lift. <laughs> so <laughs> here we are now that I think we're almost there. And so far, the views are incredible. I'll show you in a minute. Okay team, so we are on top of the mountain and it's absolutely freezing <laughs> but it's also incredibly breathtaking and beautiful and the white snow on the trees, the white crunchy snow beneath my feet and the clean white surrounding really make this quite a special moment even if Sophie and I cannot ski or snowboard today which is a huge shame but uh, it makes me want to come back even more another day maybe in the future to try it and try out this crazy beautiful mountain and go down on a snowboard. Oh wow, it's amazing. This is just what I wanted, like a hot, sweet, alcoholic beverage. Cheers. <laughs> Okay, so the big question, what is actually poutine? It's basically chips, gravy and cheese. Curd cheese. That's a classic poutine and then sometimes you can also add meat to it. So let's try. That's what it looks like. Oh, and the cheese is like quite chewy. Chips are still a little bit crispy, but drenched in gravy. I mean, there's literally three delicious things all piled up on top of each other. I do love it, but I'm glad we just ordered it as like a share or starter and not as my main. Although you could definitely also do that. This stunning reception area belongs to the Fairmore Le Chateau Montebello where we had a quick stopover before our final stretch of the journey. We had a lovely dinner here and I remember thinking wow everything is grand. And the next morning we were super lucky to get a little massage and we checked out the spa and obviously I could have stayed forever but it was time for one of my favourite experiences of the entire trip. 
Good morning everybody. So we are in the car right now on our way to the Sugar Shack. Actually first before I talk to you about this, uh, I think you've just seen a little bit of content from the massage. We had a massage and it was really really lovely but obviously I can't show you the actual massage. <laughs> so if you do go to the hotel that we just stayed in, do make sure to come there for like you know two to three nights and I would say really plan sort of a spa activity weekend. Uh, do make use of the spa, do go in the swimming pool which obviously we couldn't do but yeah I think it's probably worth it and now we're going to sugar shack and i actually have no idea what it's going to be so in a moment when we go there nicola our driver and guide and trusty friend for this trip <laughs> is going to tell you uh, a little bit more let's do this okay i start when i am ready yeah, yeah. so uh hi everyone uh we are inviting uh, sandy and sophie's into a uh, sugar shack uh sugar shack is all it's all about uh, maple syrup uh, I don't know if you know, but Quebec is the biggest producer of maple syrup in the world. You know, this season, this sugar season as well, is time with Easter. So it is a tradition for French Canadian to come to a sugar shack. So a sugar shack meal, pretty much, it's uh, you're gonna ha you're gonna see eggs, potatoes, ham, pancakes, uh, different different type of food as well okay let's go and eat lots of food i skipped breakfast today on purpose i believe the portions are quite big so yeah let's do it you're on 120 acre maple farm welcome to sucrerie de la montagne means maple farm or sugar shack of the mountain we've uh, continued the traditional method of making maple syrup so we're uh, collecting maple water from the maple trees the old-fashioned way we have 2,000 buckets installed all around the forest and it takes about a, five of us, almost a week, to install all the buckets. And then uh, with freezing nights and thawing days, we get maple water coming up the tree, and drop by drop, they'll fill up the buckets. That's how you do it. That's how I like it. <laughs> wow, any more? You sure that's enough? That's enough, for now. <laughs> Okay, I have to say, I mean, for me, as a savoury person, savoury fan, it does take a moment to get used to, to have sort of, you know, your eggs, your pie, your beans with maple syrup. But, you know, who is surprised? It does actually work. <laughs> so you should probably look out for something around $30 if you want a good quality sugar shack experience. And there is no menu as such. So you just sit down, you get all these different courses that we're trying right now and you just eat and you better come hungry. That is what I'm telling you. Eat like a lollipop. Oh wow, this is quite sticky. <laughs> Bonjour, my name is Tom. I am a Montreal expert and I love this city so much. And Tom just said the best way to start any city tour is with a coffee. 